Okay, today we're going to uh, talk about keyframes and uh, give you a few tips on uh, hopefully how you can edit a little faster uh, when you're dealing with effects and keyframes. So um, I've got what I want to edit loaded in, got it on my sequence here. And so first things first, I want to push in past all this junk up here. So I'm going to use my effect palette to do that. I've already got it pulled up here, but you can hit Control-8 and it'll bring up your effect palette. I use 3D Warp, it's kind of a catch-all for all the basic stuff that I need to do. Now, um, I need to bring up my uh, effects editor and uh, the hotkey for that can be found like above the Enter key, it's like the close bracket. So here it is, I'm actually gonna park this over here. And I'm going to drop a keyframe. I can either hit this button and drop a keyframe, or I can hit N as a keyframe hotkey. I'm just going to push it in just a little bit here, past all that mess, and that looks good to me. Okay, but I also want to put a, like a slow zoom on it. So drop another keyframe, zoom in a little bit. And you know what, I actually now I want it to zoom back out at the end. So a uh, quick way you can do that, hit in, and I want it to match this keyframe as well. So I want it to back out to the exact same guidelines that this one has. So I'm gonna hit Control C, and I'm gonna select this one, and hit Control V. So now I'm Steady, zooming in, zooming out, steady. And you know what, I, I think if I added another one here, to give it a pause in between, that would be better. So again, I'm gonna hit the keyframe button. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back to this one, highlight it, Control C, highlight this one, Control V, and it just copies that over. So now it zooms in, pauses, zooms back out. Awesome. So that's one little trick with keyframes. Another one, let's say that for whatever reason, I liked the timing of these zooms. So I liked how long it, it took to zoom in, how long it paused, and how long it took to zoom out. But I wanted to shift the whole thing to the right. Um, I wanted this up here to be, to, uh, to last a little longer. Um, now I could hold Alt and move each one of these individually, but that's gonna mo mess up my spacing. I can just hit Control A, it selects all of them. Now hold Alt and slide to the right or the left, whatever you need. Um, and uh, just drop it. And then see it, it kept the spacing between all of those. Everything is just the way it was before, I've just shifted it on my timeline a little bit. Um, one, a couple other quick things I want to point out. When editing uh, your effects, stay up here. Stay on, on this little uh, display here, or you can do it over here. This is a little small on my laptop, so it's hard to do. Don't come down here and click and drag. As you can see, as soon as I do that, I lose my effect editor, I lose all my keyframes, I lose all my information there. I have to bring the effects editor back up to get all that. If I just stay up here, you don't ever lose that. 